Hi, this is Oliver Lucanus from Below Water. Today I want to show some nice corridors from Brazil, including one that is one of the most expensive freshwater fish you can buy at the moment, Corridora CW111. A small mountain range in central Brazil in the state of Pará, called the Serra de Cachimbo, separates the Tapajos and Telespira system to the west from the Xingu and Iriri basin to the east. The famous BR-163 road connects central Brazil with the city of Santarém on the Amazon, and along this road is where so many of the new Corridora species are found. Small creeks run down either side of the Cachimbo Ridge, and there are lots of other new fish also, including some of the new tetras you can see in my 30 new tetras video, and Apistogramma colanderi, the largest Apistogramma species. There are a bunch of new Corys here, not just CW111. First up is this little white one, which is not so spectacular, but a lot of us like these unassuming quarries. Since none of these have a scientific name yet, they have CW numbers, just like L numbers for the plecos. This little white one is CW171, and it also comes in a more stretched out version as CW172. The next one is CW146. This quarry has some small black markings on the flank and has the strong stripes in the fins. They get a bit bigger than the white ones and are much more easy to find. All of these corridoras from small clearwater creeks are a bit more sensitive to bacterial disease and need more frequent large volume water changes than the ones from the lowland and big rivers. If you're lazy about water conditions, better to keep hardier species that are more forgiving on water conditions. Here they get 70% of their water changed every week. This is CW173, which looks a lot like CW111 but the pattern is a bit more washed out and the body more elongated. This fish occurs with CW146 and it was imported a lot when fishermen first started looking for the real CW111. This is also a really nice looking fish and as typical for many locations, the corridors of the Cachimbo are certainly several species that are a little bit difficult to tell apart, especially when they are young. CW111 is certainly the nicest and has been sold for absolutely crazy prices over the last few years, even over $1,000 when the export from Brazil was more restricted. In 2021, we are at roughly around one-third that price, which is still higher than any other Corridoras on the market. This species looks a lot like the Corridoras version of the Zebra Pleco, and I think it will be bred in large numbers in the future, and the price will be easily affordable then. My fish are still young, so the males do not yet have the coolest feature of this species, the really high dorsal fin of the males. The pattern of younger fish is not so contrasted, and it takes some time and patience before this fish shows the high contrast coloration. At around 4 cm they start to have their adult pattern, and that long dorsal fin of the males slowly starts to extend. Without doubt this is one of the most beautiful Corridora species. The last one I want to show today is Corridor's Rickbaxa. It is not from the Cachimbo, it comes from much further south in Brazil, but is my personal favorite. This fish has spines on the head and pectoral fins. No other cori has that, and it almost never hovers or swims. It just kind of crawls along the bottom. They also fight a lot, which is very unusual for Corridoras. This species needs very high water flow and perfect water conditions, and it is one of the most challenging Corridora species. All of these creeks are not so warm because the region is still heavily forested, so I would recommend a temperature of around 25 degrees Celsius or 75 Fahrenheit. The water is soft and around neutral pH. These creeks have relatively few fish in them and the water in all of them is very clear, for now, because deforestation, gold mining, industrial farms are all quickly destroying this region. Well, I hope you enjoyed the Kachimbo quarries and make sure to subscribe to this channel and have a look at our other videos.